everybody, I'm SirTapTap, and it's pirate time! A very short time between events lately in Abyssrium. As you might be able to guess, the next event is pirate themed! So, as always with these events, yes, candy carries over from the next event, from the last event to the new ones, so don't worry about that. Um, events have a slow rollout. Abyssrium does this thing that, like, no other, like, company does. And, um, they... They do slow rollouts, and so, like, maybe 1% of people got it today, and then 5% of people get it tomorrow. 10%, 20, 50, etc. So, it can take up to a week from the first people getting it to you getting it, potentially. And there's nothing you can really do about it. It, it, it really does suck, but, uh, uh, do tell their new Facebook. Their new Facebook person seems very good, and, um... They're responsive, so l let them know that the slow rollouts really blow, and they have- they genuinely have no benefit. Uh, it's kind of ridiculous, but I don't want to just talk about that all the time. So, what we got for this event, um, the crab is back. Um, unfortunate news, if you transfer your save, the crab level resets to zero, so I just wasted like 20,000 of my candy on- on the crab again. But, uh, so that's kind of bleh, but whatever. Um, so the crab is back. And even if you switch back to the Egypt theme, the crab is back there as well. He doesn't work at the Egypt theme anymore, but uh, it's an interesting touch. So, my, my son is back. No worries. You can call off the search parties. He has returned. And he has new functionality, actually. But um, this event has some regular kind of fish, and there's one new secret that you can't actually see. When you download it, you'll get a... Um, like a treasure map quest here in the top left. I already completed it, uh, so I can't show it, but I will talk about it after the other hidden fish. So, first, <coughs> just regular pirate clownfish, secret letter fish. Uh, these are just regular J June events. They've, they've stopped bothering just putting the thing in. Anyway, gold key seahorse is our first real hidden fish. Uh, you gotta activate the hermit crab den times, and that means you gotta tap 20 little bubbles that appear over a fish like that, and that charges them up. Then there's a little timer icon over his head, and then he dances. You gotta make him dance ten times, basically. I, oh, as always, first thing you do, a, a new event, always first thing you do, close the main menu, go to the palette menu, scroll all the way down. There's gonna be a new, no mystery chest, please. There's gonna be a new die and costume and everything. Seriously, just buy the stupid costumes. I know some people are like, oh, I don't wanna buy the costume. The thing is, if you don't buy the costume, you can't get all the hidden fish, and then you're gonna buy a fish. There's gonna be fish that are like, oh, buy this fish while wearing the costume. And then you've just wasted like 5,000 candies because you didn't buy the costume. And just, just buy the costume. It's, it's, it, they're cheap. And the die unlocks the hermit crab, so basically essential. Anyway, you gotta activate the hermit crab with the vet costume 10 times. So again, if you, if you get the hermit crab and you don't buy the costume, you're gonna waste your time, so don't do that. Um, rum barrel parrotfish, so you might think that this means cast the hermit crab three times, but what it actually means is you gotta make him dig. When he's not ready to dance, you can tap on him repeatedly, and then he digs and he gives you a little treasure. So you can actually see that, oh. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know why it didn't go up that time. But um, yeah, that, that's also important in that other treasure map quest that I talked about earlier. But yeah, just basically tap that and, and you'll eventually get it. Uh, compass Sea Turtle, you gotta watch ads 10 times. And a nice thing about ads this time, ads level up with the Hermit Crab. So it starts out at 10 or 100 gold coins for one ad. Not that amazing. Um, but once you level up the crab to level 10, you get a thousand per gold coin. So the ads are like not completely garbage trash this time. So that's nice. Uh, lobster hook, not a hidden fish. Um, but just obtain 10 hidden, or 10 event fish. Uh, treasure bag jellyfish, obtain five lobster hook. Again, not a hidden fish. Treasure map barracuda. You gotta get the gold bag, or you gotta get gold from the treasure bag jellyfish. So, best way to do that is go in here to manage fish, store all fish, then only take out your uh, treasure bag fish. And it's best to have at least two if you're going to do that, just to speed it up a bit. Um, and that's best combined with the later unlock, which I'll talk about in just a sec. Admiral Mega Mouse, who's clearly not a mouse. You know, M M Mega Mouse, whatever. Let's just update 20 event fish. Sea Chart Ray, share three. <coughs> images of Admiral Mega Mouse 
with event theme. So again, that's another one that's going to screw you over if you don't have the event theme. Pilot Saltwater Croc, get three of the uh, Chart Manta Ray, that's not hidden one. Captain Edward Dumbo, uh, this one costs a ridiculous 12,000 for a Dumbo Octopus reskin. Amazing. But you have to obtain three of every pirate fish. Ignore the more than, that's that's an error. You just have to own three of the, the Saltwater Crocodile, Admiral Mega Mouse, and um, the Pirate Clownfish. Uh, the other ones are not considered pirate fish for whatever reason, including lobster hook. I don't, I don't know why, but don't ask questions. And then, wait, did I miss something? Um, oh yeah, the the best. It's best to combine the um, activate hermit crab ten times. It's best to combine that with the uh, jellyfish thing, because twenty taps gets you a cast of the crab, and it so happens you need to cast twenty times ten to get uh, the treasure map barracuda. So fits in nicely. Pirate ship whale is the usual whale. You gotta get own all of the other things to get it. And then, there's the abyssal kraken, which is like almost spoiler material. That is a really neat fish. So, you get the pirate ship whale first, and the treasure map quest leads to the abyssal kraken. I really like how this event does things, so it kind of added a second thing. Like, the abyssal kraken is like three hidden fish in one. Unfortunately, you can only buy one, and he costs a whopping uh, 100,000 coins. But again, the, the crab is still here, and you can still get a maximum of like 20,000 uh, coins per day just from him. Uh, total cost of this event is a little bit over 200,000 coins, so it is fairly pricey. Uh, that's about 11 days worth of the crabs casting, so uh, not too bad, but more expensive than the last one. But um, I still think it's a pretty good balance, and he gives you, like, stuff sometimes. Like, he'll usually just give you, when you make him dig, he'll usually just give you a small amount of coins. But he can also give you a tiny amount of pearls, very rarely, uh, some gems, and he can give larger batches of coins, too. Somebody's gotten up to 25, or 250 from him. So, the Kraken. And all, once again, as always, I have a guide on my site. Just go to SirTapTap.com. It's the latest article. I have a guide explaining all of this stuff. Oh, let me show you the, the premium fish. Just so you can see it. It's the uh, First Mate Marmoset. Which is some kind of monkey creature, apparently. Um, yeah. That's not required to get any other hidden fish. And it only lasts for this event. Uh, I mean, it, you won't, it won't take the fish away, but the double gold bonus only lasts for this event. So... Be sure what you're buying if you want to buy it. I don't personally consider them very worth it. But, um, on to the Kraken. So, the treasure map quest is pretty complicated. Well, not pretty complicated, but first you need to obtain the compass. To get the compass, you just need to dig several times with the crab. Some people, he doesn't give, he gives three compass shards, and it only took me about five digs. Some people he doesn't give the, the compass to, so you might just close the app and reopen it. That worked for a couple people in my Discord server. Um, so that one's pretty simple. And these don't actually do anything, they just unlock the next sequence of the quest. So once you get the compass, you can't do anything, it just unlocks the next. Uh, obtain the Myri Mysterious Maps. This one's a bit more complicated. So for the Mysterious Map, it's kind of like a striped marlin, but a little bit less bad. So what you have to do... I'm, I heard that scream. I heard it. Um, what you have to do is um, release the Barracuda, so you have to unlock the Barracuda first. Uh, you can't get all the way through the, um, the quests until you have all of the hidden fit or all of the fish, period. Um, so don't worry about it too much until you have the whale. But what you gotta do is watch the Barracuda for 10 minutes. I recommend zooming all the way out, and after 10 minutes, a swarm of Barracuda come in, and one of them is gold and has like treasure leaking out of his like little map situation and you got to take a picture of the gold one the pictures for the other things we don't want to look at that yet um pictures of the other things don't work so you gotta just freeze frame once you see the barracuda swarming in just freeze frame like this then you can pan and scan around um click on the golden one click retake photo snap there you go also why is the whale crusty i've heard that like it's barnacles i don't know if i buy that but he looks crusty. I don't know. Anyway, but yeah, it took me three tries for that. Um, if if you know it's been over ten minutes and you're still watching the Barracuda, it's possible they like went, came and went. So I would just 
what I did was just close the thing, and uh, I went back in and uh, took a picture of it. And it, it worked after the third time, so <laughs> wasted half an hour doing that. But hey, it's still less bad than the striped marlin. Um, then you gotta do gather money for the sale, whatever that means. Um, First, for this one, uh, a lot of people get caught up because this requires level 10 of the Hermit Crab. Uh, it does not list that anywhere in the hints, but you have to have level 10 Hermit Crab. Then, you have to have one of each fish. Have one of each fish out, so go into Manage. Make sure you have one of each of these fellas all in there, except for this one. Um, and I messed up because I took out my Rum Barrel Parrotfish to like, because I sort them as I click the things. But no, you have to have all of them out. And then you have to tap a coin from each different one. And a lot of people have trouble chasing down the whale. What you want to do for the whale is go into expand mode here. And then that lets you pan around. And then you can tap that. It helps with the shark too. Because they kind of swim wide of the uh, the coralite. So that's what you got to do. Just tap one of each thing. It'll, it shouldn't really take too long. Uh, once you just have one of each out of there. It helps to not have duplicates. Because that way there's a smaller pool of fish. So... Once you've completed all three of those, in order by the way, um, they, don't, they don't unlock if you don't do them in order. There'll be, like, yeah, there'll be a quest thing in the top left. I, unfortunately, I already completed it, so you can't see that part. But, uh, um, <laughs> then, once you've done that, you'll get a message that the Kraken has been unlocked, but you won't get to buy it yet. Um, the, the Abyssal Kraken becomes a visiting fish like the Striped Marlin, and it appears at random intervals, and you have to take a picture of it. You will notice the Kraken when you see it. Don't do any of those dumb tricks. People say like, oh, you gotta follow the Marlin to see where they swim. That doesn't, that's not how it works, even for the regular Marlin. But trust me, you'll see the Kraken when it appears. Uh, <laughs> yeah, um, and it appeared in f under five minutes for me. So either there's like a really short timer and it's like a really guaranteed chance or it's like super frequent and high chance. Uh, it's, it shouldn't be too bad, hopefully. And again, if anything doesn't work, like, people have some issues, and it's usually just a bug, and you just have to do the unlock condition again, and it usually works then. Um, so if something doesn't work, usually you want to just close the game, do the thing again, and see if it works. Anyway, here is the Kraken, and I love the Kraken. The camera does not like the Kraken as much as I like the Kraken, unfortunately. Um, let's view it in match fish. He is a big boy. Look at that. You can even see the whole Kraken, not just the tentacles. Take that among thieves. Uh, but yeah, or whatever that game's called, the, the pirate one. Uh, but yeah, it's it's pretty cool. It's like totally new fish. I, I really hope that events now have these like super fish that you get at the very end. And like really big and totally unique designs. I'm, I'm pretty impressed by this. Uh, I think this is honestly... Gameplay-wise, this rivals right up there with the uh, the, hol the Christmas event, and uh, it's really cool. I really enjoy this. This is probably my favorite single event. Um, it's not my favorite theming, but the Kraken is possibly my favorite fish. I'm just a little bit sad that A, it costs 100000 and B, you can only get one. <laughs> I'm thinking it's kind of like the uh, the thousand-year-old whale, which let me, let me put out that whale, just so we can see maybe a size comparison. I think he's smaller. I'm pretty sure he's smaller, but he's bigger than any other whale. But yeah, a thousand-year-old whale is kind of ridiculous. So, that's pretty much the the, uh, the info on the event. As always, we don't know when it'll end, but almost certainly just before the end of the month. That's it's pretty consistently been how they go. And the next event will almost certainly be the anniversary event because that's what the event was in July last year. That was at the end of the month, so I don't know. So yeah, that's that's the new thing. I'm a little bit disappointed. There's no new like music or anything. Uh, that was one of the that was one of the best parts of the first Christmas event, which was also a really good event. I really like that kraken. And it seems like the kraken is easier to see when he's all distant, as opposed to the whales. I don't know if that's intentional or whatever, but he looks really good. I really like how the kraken looks. I'm very happy with that. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm impressed all pretty much all around. The, the cost is a little high, but not insane, um, I guess. I, I don't know exactly how to feel. I want to hear more from people who start from zero and don't usually do events, what they think of the cost, but it seems not too bad. 
But yeah, they, they, they have gone back from just gotcha, gotcha upon horrible garbage crap to actually fun event, fun little things to do. I really like the little extra quests to do, because my favorite thing with the events is always the hidden fish. And so going through the, the list of things to do, um, trying to figure out, it gives you little hints, it's really cool. And there's three different hints for each thing. I mean, I already told you how to do the things, so I mean, no point in me telling you how to get hints now. Uh, I make guides, so I mean, I kinda gotta spoil the fun, in a way. I mean, I have to assume that if you didn't want the, the event spoiled, you wouldn't watch an event, a video on how to do all the stuff, so yeah. But uh, it was really fun to do, and I hope, like, one of my biggest complaints about, well, maybe not biggest, but one of the things that really sucked about the Valentine's Day event is there was absolutely no hidden fish. There was no unlocking, there was no clever things to do, there was no scavenger hunt. And I want more of that, and I really like how this kind of expands upon that. And there's less hidden fish than I would personally like. There's there's a there's a fair few. There's like five, five or six. Let me let me count. Uh, if we count the kraken, there are six. But the kraken kind of has like three unlocks. But uh, I think it would kind of be neat to have like an event where everything except for the first fish is hidden. But I'm sure some people that don't look online would like flip out. Do I gotta keep get the fish? Use Google as your friend. It really is. Or at least it will help you find my guides and I'm your friend, so it's vicariously your friend. Isn't that right, Parker? Talk. Aw, oh, you suck. He's talky until I want him to be, and then he's not. Anyway, that's the new event, and I'm going to be live streaming the event a little bit in like 20 minutes after I stop recording this. So probably like the moment it finishes uploading, probably, given my luck. But yeah, uh, see in the stream if if we are. If you if you want to see what I'm streaming, by the way, just go to youtube.com slash through tap tap, and uh, it shows all my upcoming streams. It's pretty neat. So, hope to see in the stream. Have fun in the event. Tap tap, signing out.